Hello and welcome to the Wolf Den. My name is Fulton Elba and currently we are looking at Journey on the PC. Quit to desktop for an example. Uh, before we get started however, there's one thing I want to say. In the past I have made it clear that I am not a great fan of the Epic Game Store and how they snatch away all kinds of exclusives, uh, including stuff like Metro and the Outer Worlds and all that kind of stuff. However, in this case, Journey, originally this was a PS exclusive, I'm not sure which one it was, I think the PlayStation 3 or something, but if Epic can continue to bring previous console exclusives to a bigger audience, in this case the PC audience, they have all my approval. I have heard so much good stuff about Journey, and up until now I have stayed completely blind, so... I'd say let's just get started, see what this game has to offer, and let's jump right into it. But before you forget, as usual... <clears throat> Journey is a story-based game, meaning that it is best played without having seen a Let's Play beforehand. If you have any intention to play this for your first time, make sure to do it before watching this Let's Play. A blind experience will only make things better. Okay, I don't know where we are, but from that little cinematic intro, uh, we're in a desert, I think, because the sun is scorchingly hot. And I do know that this looks absolutely brilliant already. I'm not sure how well this is going to look on YouTube, but this looks awesome. Also, I really like the fact that Instantly, your attention is drawn to that little hill right over there. Like, is there anything else around us? Maybe? Kind of curious right now? I have no idea what to expect from this game. I think it is a complete silent experience, only with music and stuff, but nothing along the lines of voiceovers or whatever, so... Just have to wait and see. Yeah, there's only one way forward, it seems, and that is being directed to that hill. Okay, that is awesome. Okay. Oh, that is cool. Sliding in the sand. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm already liking this game. Already. Uh, but, that begs the question. Who are we? What are we doing here in the middle of nowhere? And where the hell are we going? What was up with all those stones? Like... They kind of look like gravestones, maybe? Not entirely sure. And not a single soul to be seen. No civilization or anything. Except for these. Oh. Okay. That is freaking awesome. Ah, oh. yeah, I already know that this game is going to be a glorious, absolutely glorious experience. Ooh. Okay, so more and more of these things. Are these gravestones or markers or whatever are they? We can't really interact with them. 
but we do have a building. So... And I see stuff moving. Okay, we got stuff moving, that's great. Um, we get more and more of these ruins. All the way in the distance. Okay, what have we got? What are we dealing with? What was this place to begin with? Like, this ruins? This has been ruined for quite some time, I imagine. Um, hello? Okay. I have no clue what's happening right now. It is magic. Ooh. Oh, we got a fancy little scarf cape thing. Hmm. Oh, we can fly. We can... Limited amount of flights linked to the total amount that we have available in our magical scarf. Oh, I'm liking that. <laughs> okay, so, now that we can fly... Um, ooh, there's more of them over there in the distance. Okay, so that means... Um, it does not recharge on its own. I need to be near these things in order for it to recharge. Which means... Oh, there's several of these things. Yeah, we're limited to what we have available over here. So... Oh, that is sweet. Oh, I really like this. Not sure if we have... To be conservative? Okay, um, I have no real control over how long I fly, I believe. It goes completely down in one thing. Oh... Okay, yeah, this is going to be complete exploration. Um, logic tells me go over there. My mind says, go check out that building and that one over there because... Who knows? Secrets. And... Oh. Okay, we're pretty resilient. That's good. Um, hopefully that might give us some answers in regards to where the hell we are, who we are, what we're doing here. But those might be the general questions we have this entire playthrough. Oh, this looks so awesome. I have never been a real fan of the desert. I'll be very honest about that. But seeing this, there is something really intriguing about this. Um. Hi. Uh, do we need to match this? Hi. Okay, that is people like us. Um, do we... Okay, uh, a bit confused in regards to the controls, but... Mostly because I don't know what the hell we're even doing. Those are people like us. Those things beside them... Are most likely those same markers, so... Did all the people die over here in the desert? Why did they die? How did they die? All that kinds of stuff. Um, also making sure there's nothing on top of this thing. Like, I can already see that happening. Hmm. Okay. I kind of wish we could jump all the time, but we can't really. Hmm. Okay, so, two places to go, either down the pits, right over there, or we check out what's all the way on top of here. Are there any more of these runes inside? I don't believe so. And also, what the hell is that mountain? Uh, I have a feeling I'm not supposed to go there. No, <laughs> okay, sandstorm. Well. Fine, we'll not go there. Okay, great. In that case, a little bit of sliding can't hurt. Right? Who is that? Hi, what are you? Do I... Okay. Can I do something? 
What is this? One random thing a light? <sighs> Might that be total secrets found? Maybe. Oh, there's multiple over here too. Hmm. And this is certainly hiding something. Okay, I have a feeling that if we return at some point, if we find all the secrets, something might happen over here? At least that's what I'm gonna guess. Uh, question is, are we gonna find all those secrets? Most likely not. In the meantime, uh, I see glowy stuff, but I most definitely can't reach that as of right now. So, you guys, thank you, because I'm going to need you if I want to get on top of that. Ooh, hey, hi. What is... More of these scarf pieces inside of here. What was the civilization? Oh, and more of them in here too. Okay, can I get on top of here? Yes, awesome. Um. Oh, that makes my scarf longer. Which equally means... More flight time. Oh my god, yes. Um, that does, however, mean that I need to make sure that I constantly have access to more of these things. Oh, there's going to be so much here. Okay, what have we got over here? Okay, for a moment I was like, oh, please don't let us unleash something bad. But I have a feeling that that might be good. Like, I have... These scar things seem like they're good. Um. Okay, how does that... Oh. Um. Okay, that is sweet. That gives me easy access all the way in the distance over there. It... Quick check, however, to make sure I'm not missing anything. If I have the chance to find stuff, I'll try my best to find it. Plus, I kind of like exploration, so... Anything over here? No. But these all, behind here. Uh, okay, we can't really look behind them, but those are those gravestones, so... They're inside the desert itself. But also stuck in here. So what is the story there? If these were all people like me, or people that look like me, did they all die? Is this some kind of ritual that we're going through? Some kind, maybe? Hmm. Okay, I do know the path that we need to take. Question is high. Oh, okay. If all those things are gonna increase the amount of stuff that I get, or the, the boost, the scarf length and stuff, I would rather get all of them. Let's see, where were you? Um, on this side, and then a little bit further. Thank you. Okay, so I can save up on the total scarf length. Uh, don't jump over it. Thank you. Please give me more scarf. Okay, it's not too much of an increase. It's a little bit, but... Eh. Oh, yeah, uh, no. Yeah. I'll learn how to use this. Hopefully, by the end of this. Hopefully. Okay, so all of these things seem to be the same, which only leaves one path forward. So, you guys... Bring me up into the sky. Thank you. That should bring us far enough. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so. Um, do we activate this? I have got way too many questions over here. Hopefully some answers right now.
There is something with that mountain. Light from the mountain bringing life? Growing plants? But if plants were growing, why aren't there no more plants right now? I believe that was one of those scarves, wasn't it? Hmm. So something about this light of the mountain that brought life to this wasteland of a desert. But life is nowhere to be seen anymore. So we are truly talking about a lost civilization here. So what happened to it? Also, I will apologize, I am 100% going to miss secrets and whatnot. I'm trying my best to find whatever I can find, but this is not a 100% playthrough. So where the hell are we going to end up here? Like, how long ago was the civilization still standing? Because this looks like it's been in ruins for millennia, centuries, decades, all of the above. Oh, how the hell? Okay, all the way in the distance, all the way uh, right at the tip of the pillar to my left is a white little thingy. I think that's another one of those scarf increases. More of these bridges, all broken down. Yeah, we are going to have to find a way across. That's going to be easier said than done, however. Um, is there a way down safely? I think we're going to have to jump right here. All the sand flowing in the distance. Hmm. Okay, I do know I want all of these things over here. Please, all of them. I want to fly as far as I can. So, give me. Thank you. Okay, so the question. How are we going to increase our capability of getting there? Oh, that is so cool. The sand is rippling. I don't know with what, but it is cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't... I don't really want to know what's below me, but... Kinda also... Yeah, I do want to know. A little bit. Huh. Okay, where the hell are we going? Like, all this sand just flowing from there. With sand waterfalls like this. Oh my god. Okay, mostly right now I'm just running around <laughs> seeing what the hell I can find and getting whatever the hell I can get, including that thingy over there. Also, how much do you want to bet? There's going to be something... Um, yup. There's going to be something hidden behind one of these sand waterfalls or sand falls, whatever you want to call it. You're mine. Thank you. Okay, so, um, if I have to guess, if I'm going to find something, I have to follow the scarves, which in this case is right over here. Can I do something with you? Yes. Okay, hi friends. Can you also bring me up to the top? Yes, perfect. Okay, so. Is this going to fully work? What are we doing? Like, we're bringing back life to these things. To these pieces of cloth, but... Oh, 
Okay, that... These things are prisons. Prisons for these pieces of cloth, but why? Like, this thing we're standing on top of right now, all different kinds of segments. With at the front, what looks to be something along the lines of a face. Tell me I'm wrong. I don't think I am. Oh, I love this storytelling. Sure, I kind of like the fact to have a little bit of true story and conversation and stuff from time to time, but this on its own is also pretty awesome. And I'm just gonna free all these things. These are complete prisons. So why were these locked away? That also means I have to go back all the way in the distance. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can release more and more of these things. And um, hi, secrets. I see you. Okay, so do we just merely walk up to these things and activate them? I think we can just do it like that. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't really explain an awful lot. Previous one explained more, so not really sure what to think of this one over here. Like, is that the sand itself? Or... No, I'm not really sure. Anyway... Ooh, yes. Okay, can I get on top of that? No, I need more... I need more scarf power. Where am I going to get more scarf power from? Not sure. Uh, I do know that you need to be recharged. Thank you. And can you also restore my power? Oh no, you are enough, maybe, to give me a boost up. Perfect. And then I can use my own flight power. Nice. That's how we like it. <laughs> oh, that is lovely. Absolutely lovely. And there's nothing else over here? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Okay, you guys, can you come back, please? Please, I want my scarf power back. Thank you, just a little bit. Come on, all of it. Okay, now I want to know behind this, can I go through this? Maybe. Like, this is not the way I'm supposed to go, but no, okay, that answers my question. Can't go through the massive torrent of sand. Alright, um, in that case, we're gonna complete the bridge. But in order to do that, we have several more of these pieces of cloth to save. So, all of these bridges, I'm going to assume they were all different entrances to the mountain. But everything got swallowed by the sands at the passage of time, I'm guessing. So many questions. Okay, you, guys, please get over here, thank you, and recharge you. Um, no, come on, all of you. This is so cool. Oh, I'm really liking this. But yeah, these things. I have a feeling they might have been alive at some point. Like, why else would they be lying around like this? So many of them in random places. It doesn't look like normal transportation cars, so even these things... I don't see wheels or anything, so these must have had flight of some kind, too. In any case, um... That means we're nearly there, that means that one over there should hopefully be the last one. But, in the meantime... You! Oi! Recharge! Let loose all the pieces of cloth and scrap and everything like that. You're all free now. Oh, I do wonder how much I'm going to miss. And I also hope that I'm going to understand the story, because that is a, always a risky thing with games like this. You're never sure if you're gonna fully understand the story. 
games like this require really good storytelling. Now, let's see, is there anything else over here that I might have missed? Doesn't really look like it. So I think that only means there's one thing left. I think I got everything else. I hope. And also, now that I know that those things are prison type of things, I'm kind of worried about what might be lurking beneath the sand. Just a tiny bit. Trying to figure out what is going on in a story like Journeys, it is always an intriguing thing. Slowly, the pieces of the puzzle will combine, but with no spoken words, the eventual conclusion is up to interpretation.